Oh crap, I'm gonna be late for work. <sighs> Wait, what? Um, I gotta get into work. I gotta get into work. What the hell, man? It's all damaged. I guess we can't sell them. Oh well, I guess we'll open them. Hey guys, it's uh, Matthew here with 401 Games along with Stats. Hey. And today we are going to be opening 80 boxes of Shining Legends, 800 packs, guys. This is a huge amount, um, and I think we should just tear right into it. So we're going to get into the first one. The rest of them we have opened already, but this one we're just going to open like this. We've got the big trainer box in it, a bunch of cardboard. Comes with GX token, burn and poison markers, as usual. Dice with the Shining Legends logo. Sleeves just like that with the ho. -Oh. The big ticket item, the Shining ho. -Oh. Looks great. Textured as well on the on the Pokemon. Really nice. Other than that, fairly standard. Your pack of energy, dividers. Code card, along with 10 packs of Shining Legends. All right, so let's get this junk off of the table and let's get into it. Stats, what are you excited for in this set? Yeah, I'm super excited for Shining Genesect. Shining Genesect is currently probably one of my favorite Pokemon. Actually, I think it's really good. It won um, won Japanese regionals in Yokohama, and um, other than that, I mean, it's probably a good tech if people start playing more like in Rock GX, as we've seen recently, um, which I guess is probably a good thing. Uh, the other thing, we're gonna show off some of the hollows, but uh, you get a hollow in every single pack. Wow, that's insane! Whoa, Raichu GX! There, there we go, Raichu GX. One of the better cards in the set. Here, let me get a sleeve for that. There you go, Raichu GX. Powerful Spark, 20 more damage for each Lightning Energy attached to all your Pokemon, just like the Dark Ride EX. Thunder, two Lightning and a Colorless, and it does 30 damage to itself for 160. And Voltail, 120 damage and your opponent is now paralyzed. Not a bad card, uh, however it has fighting weakness and with upcoming Zoroark- Oh, Secret Rare Mewtwo Are yes. you serious? Oh my lord. Wow. Jeez, already. First box. Is this texture? Yeah, it's texture. Holy, wow. That's insane. Wow, okay, well, there you go. That's probably- the chase card of the set. Yeah, I don't think there's anything better than this in the set at the moment. Um, wow, yeah. Yeah, full burst, 30 damage for each energy attached to the Poke to, uh, to Mewtwo GX. Uh, super Absorption is just like the attack from uh, from the Evolutions Mewtwo, and then the Side Strike is just 200 damage and ignores all effects, which is nice. Alright, back into another pack. Yeah. Whoa, Zorak GX! Are you <laughs> yeah, I'm just crushing you. <laughs> oh man. And okay. another Raichu GX. Are you? <laughs> oh. You gotta step up your game. Oh no. Dude, my luck is awful right now. But this is the card I'm super excited for, Zorak GX, um, with the ability trade, just like my boy Napoleon's diving draw. Uh, you may discard a hand from or a card from your hand, and you can draw two cards from your deck. Um, along with Riotus beating, 20 damage for each of your Pokemon in play. Whoa, shiny energy. That's and uh, and Trickster, Trickster GX, essentially just like foul play from Zorak Break. Um, being able to use your opponent's attacks as your own. Super advantageous position it'll put you in. Super strong card. And probably the best card in the set, in my opinion. As well as this Hoopa, Hoopa right here. Scoundrel Guard, 
prevent all effects of attacks, including damage uh, done to this Pokemon by GX or EX Pokemon, uh, just like the card we saw on Alolan Ninetales. However, the nice thing about it is that it's a basic, and therefore much more splashable in depth compared to the Alolan Ninetales. And another Hoopa. Double colorless in this set as well. Oh, that's a, that's a lot of good staples. Yeah. Double colorless. Lily got a reprint, I believe. Um, as well. Oh, Shining Arceus, there we go. Holy shit. Let me go see for that one. So these are the new kind of gimmick of the set, the Shining Pokemon. Um, so the Shining Arceus isn't that great, however, it looks super nice and super cool. I think I just skipped over one earlier. Oh, well, that's probably not a good idea. <laughs> uh, these are super rare cards, so they're about twice as rare as a normal GX, or maybe even three times oh, as much. That's cool. Um, and the other thing in this set is finally we get Sun and Moon Reverse Hollow Energies. Super excited for this. I love the energy design on these po on these energies, and to have them finally is great. Also makes if you want to bling out your deck and you're on a budget, it makes it so that you're not spending a couple hundred dollars to uh, do that. Oh, there's another shiny Arceus. Oh, I, I'm just like pulling all the shits. All right, well, can't really beat that, I guess. But uh, nothing in that pack. Jeez, these flies. Man. Shaman with the attack flippity flap. Sometimes I wonder how they even come up with these attack names. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's just, uh, what's it called? Like a name generator? I bet you, sort of like, isn't there that generator that like will generate your rap name or whatever? <laughs> I think it's something like that. Oh, there's a rainbow in here. Oh no, it's just a Zoroark. What, what do you mean? Just the Zoroark. Yeah, yeah. Just the Zoroark. Like the chase card of the set. I mean, pulls so far have been really, really good. Yeah. Um, oh, Entei GX. Alright, cool. Entei GX. Not a super good card, but still a really nice card. 50 damage, combustion, uh, fire fang for 100, and it burns. And Braithorn GX might see some play, being able to snipe for 150 damage. Um, if we ever get something like a wide lens reprint or something, that could see some play in a Vulcanian sort of deck. Brazilian Ultra Ball as well got a reprint here. That's great. Oh, here. This is the card that everyone had some controversy over. Incineroar. Uh, in Japanese, it was not Profane Punch, it was Goddamn Punch. Um, so obviously we've got some censorship going on. But, um, you know, what, do you, what can you expect from, from Pokemon? Shining me. Oh, jeez. All right. This is insane. Okay, that's a really good card. Um, so, Shining New, I think... And Entei GX Full Art? Oh my lord. I'm on fire. Wow. Uh, so yeah, Shining New, currently sitting at around $40 as of recording this one day before release. Um, has the attack Legendary Guidance, search your deck for two energy cards and attach them to your Pokemon in any way you like, and shuffle your deck. Um, being able to basically search your deck for special energies and then just attach them as you please. Um, probably one of the better attacks from these Shining Pokemon that we have. Uh, definitely gonna see a, probably a lot of play. Uh, there's something else in here too. Another Zora GX, wow. An incredible card, really. Well, I guess the play sets are coming along, so that's good. Fortunately, no rainbows yet. Double Verizian. Nothing there. Into the next one. Pikachu. Fortunately, not a good Pikachu. Oh, Shining Volcanian. Wow. This 
purse. It looks incredible. Everything about this set just looks great. Just like that. The purple spikes and everything about it are one of my favorite shinies, basically. Do you think that goes into the Volcanion deck that's running around uh, now? Definitely not, because of the, the, um, the water attack. However, it is still a very, very nice card. But in terms of like actual playability, in terms of shiny Pokemon, we're looking for Mew and we're looking for, um, and we're looking for Jirachi. Another card that hasn't been around for a very long time, Warp Energy, uh, hasn't been around since e-reader days. Um, being able to attach a Pokemon or attach an energy, or when you attach this card to your active, you can switch it with one of your bench Pokemon. Um, Probably we'll see some play in Galissapod. And definitely the way it's going, I would not be surprised if, um, if people start playing more enhanced hammers because of that. Zora GX. Wow, another one. Fresh around. Here's a code for you guys. Enjoy. Man, these Zoroarks are coming at you. Just yeah, crazy. aren't they gonna print this in a collection box as well? They are gonna print that in a collection box, yes. Uh, Zorark Premium Collection. Oh, another Shining Volcanion. I don't, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Everything I heard about this set was saying that the Shining Pokemon are extremely rare. Um, but it seems maybe I'm wrong. But yeah, the Zoroark GX is being reprinted. Unfortunately, we don't get the flirt in this set because of it. But that is where it is going into that box. And Mewtwo GX. Whoa! It's not as good as my secret rare one, though. Unfortunately not, no. That Mewtwo secret rare is very, very nice. Also, another nice thing about this set is the fact that the codes now come in the past. Being able to actually... Oh! Right what? To rainbow! That's crazy! Oh my. Oh my god. That looks so nice with that rainbow foiling. Jeez. Wow. Look at that. Holy. All right, that Whoa! Goes. Secret Mewtwo! Oh, but it's yeah. not the right one. It's not the right one, unfortunately. What do you mean? It's a hyper rare Mewtwo. GX. It is. Very nice card. Wow. Incredible, but again, I don't think it can beat that secret rare. That Mewtwo in a test tube is just kind of how it goes. Another textured Entei GX. These boxes have been extremely good to us. Yeah. It's most likely going to be like this for all 800 of our packs. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're going to be here for a long while. Uh, I'm fairly excited for uh, for pulling Shining Jirachi, but um, but yeah, I'm not sure what, to be honest, what else I'm looking for in this set. I think the other thing I'm looking for is probably uh, Foil Fairy Energies. Oh yeah, I for need, that Gardevoir deck? I need them for my Gardevoir deck, unfortunately. Shining Jirachi! Well, there it is, Shining Speak Jirachi. of the devil. Or in this case, the legendary Pokemon. In that case, the legendary Pokemon. So here you go. This is probably the card I'm most excited about in this set. Shining Jirachi, 70 HP, and the attack Stellar Rain. If your opponent's active Pokemon is, a, is an evolved Pokemon, devolve it by putting all of the evolution cards on it in your opponent's hand. Yeah, that's like a super Espeon EX. Exactly. So uh, if you know me, you know that I love my Decidueye decks, my damage spread, and... Um, Definitely will be playing a big part in that deck for sure. Super excited for it. And it just looks great as well. I love the fact that these shiny Pokemon are actually going to see some play. Um, yeah. I can't remember if it's this set or the next one, but I know Lily is getting... Shiny Rayquaza. Oh, no That way. is the nuts. Wow. It looks so good. Holy... 
But yeah, as I was saying, Lily is supposed to get an alternate art of her in her, like, I guess, tween stage, you would call it, or I don't know what you would call it, but like... Her early school teenagers? Uh, essentially, like, when she becomes, she becomes a, a big girl now. <laughs> um, Shining Jirachi. Wow, literally packs of heart. Jeez. Oh, is that wrong? Up in there. Yeah. I think we're gonna have to make space, space on the playmat soon. Oh yeah. But incredible, incredible pull so far. Marshadow and Koopa. Up in there. The hollows are really nice in this set, I gotta say. To have one in every pack. Obviously it kind of devalues stuff, but um, still really good to have that. Definitely for for collectors and stuff. And if you're just, you know, like if you're looking to buy this as a Christmas gift or something, probably the best thing you can probably get, another Shining Volcano. Another Entei GX. So many of those, all textured too. Yeah. Interesting. But uh, but yeah, as I was saying, probably one of the better Christmas gifts you can get just because of the- Another Entei GX. All right. Well, there pack we after pack after pack. And the Psychic Energy, that's probably, oh. Lightning Energy. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, another thing is there's no secret rare, like, gold bordered stuff in this set. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. We got a double colorless reverse and another Mewtwo GX, but, uh, yeah, but no, no secret rares in this set in terms of trainers or, uh, or energy, as far as I'm aware. Um, that should be coming in the next set with Crimson Invasion being able to get those super rare warp energies along with a whole bunch of other stuff it's probably going to be very very intriguing but i'm just going to enjoy the time i have with the shining legends it's incredible also pokemon breeder full art is another card i really want to see that card is super nice Wait, isn't that coming out though pokemon breeder full art uh it is in this set somewhere so, it, oh, here, as we speak about it, there we go. Pokemon Breeder. Draw two cards and heal 20 damage from your active Pokemon. Not a very good card, but... Um, it's like Reverse Professor Kikui. Exactly. But it looks absolutely amazing. And it's actually the only... Whoa, full, another one! Nice! It's actually the only Fuller Trainer in this set. Wow, just... Just full arts and ultra rares, one after another. It's just coming and coming and coming. It's like Christmas. Yeah, this this set seems to looking like extremely good EV. It really is, honestly. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, this set is incredible in terms of value. Um, obviously, saying that, probably every card is going to be worthless after a couple weeks. But for now. This set is incredible. Still haven't pulled the Shining Genesect, which is another thing I noticed. A lot of people were having trouble pulling that card. Um, it's really interesting. I don't know why it would be that one. I mean, it should be like the Shining Mew or something like that, but... Yeah, we got like three Shining Volcanions already. Yeah. Definitely. I'm not gonna be super happy though. Also, the other thing. Whoa, a fourth shining yeah, volcano. Yeah, yeah. The other thing, here's a code. Um, but having the. Having all the code cards be white code cards is really nice. Basically, being able to. Not be able. Actually, not being able to tell what's in your pack is kind of nice. Because it was, it was really ruining sort of like pack openings. Once you, once you knew the code card thing, like it kind of ruined. Oh, another Raichu Rainbow Rare. But uh, another Entei ri Full Art. Well, not Full Art. It's okay. just a regular, not anything special. The other thing, the Zorark Rainbow is the other thing I'm super excited for. But yeah. Not being spoiled by the code cards is a really nice thing. 
think they did well so far with these packs, but I'm not sure. I think we're doing fairly well with these packs too. Oh, yeah. Not much we're missing so far from the set. Uh, another Mewtwo GX. Super cool Pokemon. Super tough too, look at that. So tough? Yeah. You got a psychic weakness, so it's actually not very tough at all, but... Um, <laughs> I thought all the legendaries don't have, like, weaknesses. Like, yeah. the Tapu Kokos and all the failures. Unfortunately, only the Tapus get that, so... Uh, I guess that's more of, like, a game-balancing sort of thing they wanted, to basically incentivize running the, the Tapus. But... Another Shining Jirachi, yes. That card is super cool. Into the next one, Zora Reverse. It's pretty cute with the Zora arc there, but another Raichu GX, very nice. Let's, Let's see what we get next. Fortunately, the one thing I do miss is the legendary collection um, thing that they had going on in Generations. Having all those artists with the really. Like, oh, another Raichu Rainbow, jeez. Anyways, you're saying but the artist? Yeah, generation. essentially having all those nice uh, those nice charms and stuff and all the like special like snowflake foiling and stuff like that. Um, was something I really enjoyed about about generations and legendary collection. Or not legendary collection, legendary treasures, sorry. So unfortunately you've done away with that, but I I will definitely trade that for shining Pokemon, so don't go wrong. That's good. Any Pokemon are way cooler. They are. These are going to be extremely collectible as well. Like, unless they do something like what they did with the um, with the shining legendaries from uh, Hard Bolts of Silver, where they printed them as promos as well. Um, you should see some value increase. I believe the. The Suicune, Raikou, and Entei shinies are sitting around a nice $30 or so. Definitely not anything to scoff at. A double colorless energy in reverse. Oh, nice. Oh, a shiny Rayquaza! Oh, wow. Yeah, that one's going to be a favorite amongst kids. The 190 damage, shining Rayquaza, probably... Probably difficult to be in terms of popularity amongst kids. Obviously not very good in competitive play, but but definitely a card that will be sought after. Right. Do you know when was the last time they printed Shining Pokemon in an English TCG set? Um, I believe the last time was Ancient Origins, was it not? Was it? I believe so with the Megas, um, since they printed Mega, what was it, they printed Mega Rayquaza, and then Primal Groudon and Kyogre. But and those aren't really shiny Pokemon. Uh, no, they are. Really? Yeah, the, the secret rares in that set are, uh, are shiny. They're reprints of the ones in Primal Clash and Orange Skies. I can't remember if there was, oh no, sorry, I'm wrong, there is one more recent, the, uh, the Azumarill from Steam Siege, actually. Oh, wow. Just an uncommon, but it is a shiny Pokemon nonetheless, I guess. Oh, a fourth shiny Arceus. There we go. But I think the, the actual last time they actually printed shiny Pokemon that states it's a shiny Pokemon on the card was oh, in that's Neo what, Destiny. Yes, that's what, okay, that's what you meant. Yeah. Okay. I think the last one was the shiny Tyranitar. Yeah. Back in 2002, yeah. 15 years ago. Oh, finally, Shining Genesect. There what? we go. What? Yeah. Oh, man. That card is so beautiful. Super beautiful. Look at that. The red Genesect, energy reload, being able to move a grass energy from one of your Pokemon to this Pokemon. And then Gaia Blaster, similar to the Trevenant EX's attack, uh, being able to 
attack for 50 damage, plus 20 more for each grasp energy attached to the Pokemon. Definitely will see some play. Um, it kind of depends on how much, but uh, obviously you could play it with something like this Venusaur here, being able to double your grass energy. Um, or even stuff like rainbow energy is kind of where we've seen it have success so far. So um, definitely an interesting thing. And we'll see where that goes. I don't know, this, this set is super sick. I think the only thing, yeah, like I said, I think the only thing we need. Whoa, another secret rare Mewtwo! Oh my lord, wow. Incredible. Incredible. I just love the texture on that thing. It looks great, yeah, it really does. Double colorless reverse as well. <sighs> Nothing super, super good though in terms of Zoroark. So that's what I want to see. I want to see these and regular, regular YouTube Yeah, Solid? Not bad at all. But I want to see these Zoroarks. I want to see these Shining Pokemon. I'll put part of that pack as well. The other thing, I don't particularly like it. I'm not sure if that's how you feel about this, but... Um, I guess it's good for Pokemon, and I guess it's good for stores or whatever, but uh, as a player it's kind of frustrating. Um, where they are printing, they're leaving so much out of the set to put in promo boxes, essentially. Like what? Um, so they've left out now the Full Art Raichu GX, Full Art Zoroark GX, uh, Full Art Charizard GX, Shining Lugia, Shining Celebi, um, Rainbow ho -Oh GX. Uh, I don't think there's any of those. I can't particularly remember off the top of my head, but I think that's about all of them. However, I've seen a lot of players complaining recently about um, sort of how so many of these cards have just been left out of the set and it's made things really expensive to collect on top of all the, the Rainbow Rares, obviously. Yep. The short time that you were talking, I just pulled two shining Pokemon you, and a full art oh trainer. Oh my lord. Yeah. The set is so crazy. Good. Super good. I'm gonna get a sleep for those. Yeah, I sure don't want to damage those. Exactly. Especially that game. Mel Tank is so happy as well. Like, I love some of the artwork on these cards is just so nice. They have some really tough Pokemon, obviously. Uh, and then some like really just like cute, like cute style Pokemon. It's really nice. I enjoy the Oh Shiny Volcano! Oh my another one man. And another one. Another one. Shout out to DJ Khaled. <laughs> We wouldn't be here without you. I think right about now we're like a quarter of the way through and another Shining Volcano? This is like crazy. This is like the most common one you've seen. And another Shining Arceus. I don't know. I think the Arceus might have more. Yeah, that's... We can take a good count afterwards. Yeah. Obviously we will go through all the cards afterwards and show you the count. Um, and maybe I'll do sort of, I'll calculate the odds of, um, of everything in these packs. Obviously, it's a small sample size, even though it's small comparatively with only 800 packs, but um, obviously still a very large amount of packs. Oh, double shaming in that pack. There you go. Oh, something in this one as well. Another Mewtwo GS. Oh man, this meat like if they printed this Mewtwo eight months ago, it would have been so good. So good. So unfortunately, not so much anymore with the advent of Garbodor. But still nice and nonetheless. Sound of ripping these packs is like music to my ears. 
Oh, here we go. This is a car we don't have yet. Mewtwo Fuller. Yo, we have like four different versions of Mewtwo GX in this set. Yeah, four, set, yeah, four different versions of this. So there's a regular Mewtwo, and then the Fuller, and then Shining Genesect oh, here. Oh, wow. Uh, and then Secret Hyper Rare, and then Secret Rare. Exactly, yeah. Mewtwo GX. It gets people confused all the time. It's really, it is something that... I I understand why they did it, but at the same time. All right, hey guys. So unfortunately, our camera battery died. So uh, we're back into it. All right, yeah. we're gonna unpack. Yeah, actually, this one just kind of this one I already opened. So I'll leave that one to the left because I already know what's inside. Uh, yeah. Nothing in that pack. Unfortunately. Okay, let's just go through this pack. Unfortunately, we opened this off camera. Literally, like, as we were finishing recording, I, like, as the battery died, I was, like, maybe, like, this far into the pack. It's super frustrating, but... Zorark GX... Zorark GX Rainbow. Yo, that looks immaculate. It's... Along with this shining Mew. Oh, wow. Yeah, another one. Jeez. Yeah, this card is probably the card I was looking for most in this set. Uh, not sure what condition it's in. Eh, not bad, a little bit of lightning, and probably like, yeah, maybe get like a nine out of PSA, but uh, really nice card. Super, super nice card. Probably worth a lot to it. I think this card's gonna be like 70 or 80 dollars. That's crazy good. Super pricey, but uh. Shiny RCS. There you go. Oh, and another Raichu GX. The Raichu is just everywhere nowadays. Yeah. I mean, hopefully, hopefully this becomes the the budget deck then. I don't, I'm not really sure, but uh. I hope it's. I hope it would be. Uh, it's a pretty good, pretty good card, all things considered. And Lightning has definitely needed some, some help for a while now. Uh, we get obviously we get the Raichu, uh, and we also get a Raikou in this set. Uh, so if we pull that, I will show you another Shining Jirachi. Yo, foil water energy for those Greninja decks. Exactly. Those giant water shurikens just throw them at your opponent's Pokemon. Greninja actually really good, really good deck at the moment. Um, a local here, actually, uh, and Michael Long, uh, who, he finished second at Worlds playing Greninja, and had just finished second at uh, Heart Provision as well, so... Oh, it's alright, GX. There you go, congratulations to him, but yeah, um, yeah, it's surprising how many decks are really good right now, and in these really weird ways, cards that you would think that would be just absolutely horrible are getting played quite a bit now. Stuff like Tapu Fini and um, Tapu Fini and even stuff like weird Espeon text and all kinds of decks that are just all over the place. Excuse us for the uh, for the sirens. Keldeo Pikachu here. Super nice Pikachu, but not the 70 HP we're looking for. Actually, um, we got some photos of the next, the next blisters. Crimson Invasion has a, obviously just like any other stone. Let's put this coat there. There you are. Good. That was like weirdly textured or something. Um, Crimson Invasion has the blisters just like any other set. The one pack and three pack blisters. However, ah, oh, warp energy reverse nice. Um, however. They're coming with Palkia and Dialga coins. Whoa. And those aren't in the set. Yeah, that's what that's what I've been saying as well. I don't I don't know how to feel because uh, obviously um, you know that kind of hints towards like a remake and uh, Sinnoh is by far my favorite generation. I think 
Um, I think the, the games were just so perfect in that era, and um, you know, obviously everyone's free to disagree. I know a lot of people really like Gen 2, uh, obviously with Gold and Silver going back to the 3DS. Um, but I think that, I don't know, I feel like Sinnoh Remakes is probably the thing I want the most. I find myself playing that game over and over and over and over again. Uh, whether it be Platinum or Heart, Gold, or Silver. Um, it feels like it's just something I play all the time. I really want it back. But nothing for a while now. I'm yeah. not just like, really cold. Oh, no, never mind. Shining Mew, there you Shining Mew. There you are. Got him. Got him. Got to catch him all. Yeah. I mean, it seems like we're going to catch them all. There's not much left for us to catch here. No, the Entei Secret Rare. It's a Hyper Rare. Entei Hyper Rare. Um, what else? Another Shining here, at least. Yeah. Another Shining Arceus. There we are. Uh, just coming back. Exactly. After that hiatus. Exactly. So, yeah, what are we What are we still looking for in this? Uh, I think, what, like you said, the Rainbow Rare Entei. And, and I then, think that's... What, Fairy Reverse? I know we're still looking for one of those. Yeah. Fairy Reverse would be a good one. Really not sure here. To be completely honest. But oh, right. There isn't a Zoroark full art. Yeah, yeah. Because okay. of the collection box that's coming out. Go to the box. And the other thing, actually, that's kind of interesting, um, good on Pokemon, is that the, if you saw the intro clip, obviously, uh, uh, then you would have seen me run straight through a wall of Elite Trainer boxes. Um, they actually hold up really well. There's no damaged cards, no Shining Volcano, nice. Um, but yeah, no, no damaged cards whatsoever. Um, from these boxes, which is really surprising. I would have expected something to get damaged or something to get banned. Um, but yeah, nothing like that. The boxes held it really well. Yeah, that's like, they have extremely good padding for all these cards. Yeah. Ah, here it is, finally. The Raikou I wanted to show. So, pretty cool artwork, but uh, the first attack, Booming Thunder, 30 damage. Attach a Lightning Energy card from one of your, dis from your discard pile to one of your benched Pokemon. Um, probably gonna see some play. Not be surprised. Obviously, we don't have a steam up effect like we do with Volcanion and the baby Volcanion. Um, but perhaps, uh, not sure exactly how the the electrode is worded from evolution, but perhaps you're able to recycle that and just attach it over and over. Oh, that seems broken then. Yeah, it it probably would be. Um, because people wouldn't play the Voltorb. They wouldn't knock themselves out. They would just discard it. And double Hoopa, nice. Yo, I heard Hoopa's good. It's like the replacement for Alolan Ninetales. Yeah. Hoopa will... I don't know if it'll replace it in every deck. Um, obviously, because a lot of decks do play Alolan Vulpix. Uh, Dark Energy. And an Entei, I guess. The Dark Energy is more yeah. exciting. An Entei, I guess. Yeah, just an Entei. I wish they made that card better. I don't... It is a legendary Pokemon. Exactly, yeah. Like You would think that they would make it a little bit better, but it, it seems like a lot of the legendaries in this set um, are actually not very good, uh, unfortunately. So, yeah. Sad to see, but, I mean, realistically, what can you do? We got a fly with us today. Uh, I feel like we should name the fly. What do you think? It, it should be called Flygon the Fly. Alright, so we have Flygon with us today. Which one? He's been flying around all day. Another Rainbow Rare right here? I guess, I guess Flygon is uh, equally as excited about opening Shiny Legends as we are. Exactly. Flygon's been freaking out all day. Um, so, you know, obviously. Oh, there he is. Come on, hand on my hand. Um, but yeah, oh, Shiny Jirachi. Whoa. And another one. Another Shining Jirachi on the board. Oh man, this card is so nice. 
Oh man, it's all over my face right now. Flygon is very rude. Let's see what else we got. No Raikou. Nothing else. Man. Thank you, Sats. Taking my bulk. Foil Psychic. And Entei. Entei? I don't think else, though, unfortunately. Do you think we'll hit like one of each shining Pokemon by the end of this? So that's like one for every hundred packs? Because uh, that'd be pretty good. I believe we have, yeah. I think we already have hit probably higher than that. Right? I think we're just about 40% into all these packs. Yeah, I think we have definitely beat that quota. I'm not sure what the odds are, but just, yeah. for sure for Shining Volcano at the very least. Oh, finally! Entei Rainbow Rare! Ah. The long-awaited arrival of Entei Rainbow Rare. If only it was as cool. Wait, where is the Entei? No, that's new to this Entei. Wow, look at that. It looks super cool. I don't know, Entei gives, always gave me that impression that it looked kind of old. Like it's, just, it's just an old looking Pokemon. I don't know what it is about it, but... Yeah, how come the Raikou is, doesn't get a GX at all? The, oh, Raikou, you mean? Yeah. So, I mean, Suicune didn't even get printed in this set. So, at least, I think Raikou should just be happy that it uh, <laughs> got at least. Better than nothing. Better than nothing. Oh, very energy. Finally. All right, well, that one's going straight in my deck. Super excited for that. It's super hard to find foil uh, fairy energies, actually. Is it? Uh, I mean, well, the thing is, is that they really the only time they ever got like mass printed was uh, was the Xerneas and Xerneas versus uh, Evil Tall decks, and those were not very good and also fairly old now. So, um, so other than that, it's kind of hard to find them. Uh, obviously. Oh no! Our Elite Trainer Box Mountain has fallen. Um, yeah, other than that, it's kind of it's kind of hard to say because uh, obviously the Generations print was there, but um, Generations is also starting to become more and more uh, more and more exclusive. Um, the further we go along with time, obviously. Uh, right now is actually a pretty good time to buy into Generations. Another warp energy. Um, but yeah, if you're. If, another Pokemon leader. If you're looking to collect some product, um, Generation's a very nice set to collect at the moment. All the really nice full arts with the pin collections and all kinds of other stuff. Um, super, super nice. Unfortunately, not worth very much anymore. Um, a lot of the cards that were worth money in there, this pack just won't. Okay. Um, but yeah, a lot of the cards that were in there are not worth much anymore, unfortunately. Uh, Revitalizer has fallen out of favor uh, due to grass not being played very much. Um, Olympia as well being the other card that was like three or four dollars. Um, being able to switch your Pokemon with a supporter if you're under item lock. But uh, and now Guzma does it for you. So. <coughs> Excuse me, but, uh, but yeah, nothing good from Generations in a while now, other than the spoil energies. Just the energies in general. Generations have really nice energies. Whoa, full art Entei is go. in the house. But yeah, anyways, not about Generations, it's about Shiny Volcano. We got another Entei. And another Shiny Volcano. How many do we have? Quite a few at the moment. The stack is getting a little bit out of control. I think the stacks are definitely taller than the Zor regular Zoroark GXs. Yeah. Which is like unheard of. Uh, I mean, it's kind of to be all oh, right, you rainbow. Oh, man. It's so nice. Another Entei full art. But yeah, as I was saying. Uh, it seems the same, they're probably going to do the same thing that they did with uh, with Tapu Lele from Guardians Rising. 
uh, in that, you know, it's a very played card and therefore, you know, short printing it makes, makes a little bit of sense um, for them to basically incentivize you to buy more packs and more packs and more packs. Well, an upside down card in my pack. Yeah, part. That's so weird. I use for. Yeah. The funny thing is, is that uh, Shining Legends is actually doing this really weird release schedule too. Um, obviously, similar to Generations, we're gonna have uh, releases all through the end of the year, um, going into the next year as well, um, with stuff at, like the like the Alolan Raichu figure collection. Uh, and I believe also a Marshadow pin box is another thing that was uh, revealed. Uh, and that'll be coming out, I believe, next year. Uh, so, at least Shining Legends isn't going anywhere anytime soon. Which is very nice. Matthew, what's your favorite Pokemon? Uh, I think we all know this, it's Greninja. If only Greninja was in this set. Oh, uh, why you got a Tommy like that? Man? Greninja hasn't been printed in so long now. It's... Oh, Shining Rayquaza. There we are. There we are, my boys. And girls. And girls. And cats and dogs and everything in this game. So what's the difference between a regular Greninja and Ash's Greninja? So, as far as I'm aware, the way the anime explained it um, was that it was basically that Ash's Greninja had a special bond with Ash, and that when they reached this bond or whatever, that they could reach like new heights with their uh, with their powers or whatever. But wasn't that what like Mega Evolution was for? Yeah, exactly. So it, it's sort of like pseudo Mega Evolution, um, but. Again, it seems like Ash is getting a special version of, of a Pokemon in now probably going to be every generation from now on. Obviously, just like uh, just like Ash's uh, Ash's Lycan Rock as well. So uh, interesting, I guess. But uh, yeah, it's kind of confusing at the same time. So, and the one thing we can guarantee is we're going to get another Lycan Rock. GX. So, if you're a big fan of Lycan Rock, that's coming. This time, the Dawn form. Or, sorry, the Dust form, not the Dawn form. No, Alright, what are we. I think we have everything, right? What yeah, I think we have one of everything at the very least. Oh, at least from the Ultra Rare, too. Oh, yeah, that's for sure. Definitely not missing anything. But now it's time to get play sets. Another shiny new, but yeah, play set of rainbows are excited. So. If anything, I think Mewtwo GX Hyper Rare and Full Art is like the rarest ones. Like we have multiple shiny Pokemon, but only one of each of these. Yeah, That's... Uh, I mean as well as Zorark and Antar, right? Yeah, those are the other ones that are. Which is kind of weird in terms of the ratios. Shiny Jirachi. There we are. But yeah. It is insane how many Volcanians there are. I mean, compared to like Genesex or like. Yeah. Even like Jirachis, really. It is kind of insane how many Volcanians there really are. Do you, do you think that Pokemon may know that it's not very playable and they just print? a lot more of it than everything else? Uh, it's hard to say, right? Like, you know, if I want to put my tinfoil hat on, then, uh, then sure. I, I could definitely see where you're coming from with that, but at the same time, I'm really not sure. It could just be that we're getting unlucky. But I mean, again, my guess is probably that we have, that it is a really heavily printed card. <laughs> Yeah, we might just have a small sample size. That is awesome. Oh, Shining Genesis. There we go. There we go. Solid. Alright, Shining Genesis. Oh, yeah. Another fairy energy. Oh, 
yeah. Can't believe that's what I'm getting excited for, but the foil energies are very, very nice. Um but yeah, I wish they would have maybe made some more uh, legendary Pokemon in this set. Uh, or maybe in another set, whatever. Um, stuff like uh, I'm kind of surprised that Reshiram and Zekrom only got hollows in this set. Um, and it's like, it's surprising that, um, that it's nothing more than that, but, uh, yeah, I guess so. Well, there you go. Nothing else in the set. Oh, geez. There's a code for you guys. Enjoy. I'm not sure, oh, sorry. I'm not sure when these codes are actually going black. Um, I checked yesterday, and they were not online yet. So it's kind of hard to say. I'm not sure when they're going to up. I think you could just like enter them in and they just won't be active until like the actual release day. Yeah, I th probably. That makes the most sense because we're so close to release day. I remember um, with the pre-release of uh, Burning Shadows that you would have to... Oh, another grass energy, not bad. Um, but yeah, with the pre-release of Burning Shadows, you would have to wait a couple weeks actually to enter your codes in. What? Yeah, it was uh, it was super frustrating. But basically, people who uh, who were recording their their openings or whatever, you know, they were giving out codes, but it didn't really matter. Be Whoa, another secret rare. Oh wow. Mewtwo oh, GS with a reverse psychic energy with it. I think that's it's a like, sign. It's a sign. I think that really is a sign. It's a sign. I should fight Mewtwo. It might. Mewtwo is an interesting card. I think it'll probably see some some kind of play if we see more type of like wall wall attackers. Stuff like if we see more Jolteon EX or Glaceon EX. Um, that sort of thing will probably um, will probably see play just because of the fact that it can hit through that sort of wall and another shiny Mew. Super excited for that card, man. Yeah, that's unexpected. Did you say unexpected? <laughs> oh, man. Jeez, all right. Well, I guess we're starting with the puns now. So plus one minor is super cute as well. So what else we got? Mark Shadow, nothing else. Unfortunate. Oops, Whoa, Secret Rare, uh, Entei GX. Zoroark GX. Yeah. I thought it was, for a second I thought it was a Rainbow Zoroark. Yeah, yeah, we should do like pack wars with these. We definitely could, if you, uh, if you want to do a wager. I mean, you're probably going to lose, but... <laughs> um, but we can definitely do a wager if, if you're looking to do that. Yeah. I'm too scared for that. Maybe another time. Maybe. Oh! Here we are. This is what I'm into. Misprints. There we are. What's a misprint here? Uh, just that the text is a bit thicker, if you can tell. Um, but yeah, it's just the text here on the mine end and the HP is just a little bit thicker. Uh, unless I'm blind. No, I'm not. I think so, anyways. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm losing my marbles. Yeah, too many packs open. Perhaps. Perhaps that's what it is. It just... Oh, Shiny Rikaza! Nice. I think that's the first one I pulled, actually. Yeah, the rest of mine. <laughs> oh, man. So cool. I just... I wish it was a little bit better. Um, that's my only problem. Even, like, a reprint of, like, the Guardians Rising one would have been really nice. Nothing in there. Ah, nice. Another Pokemon Breach card. Nice. Oh, Shining Volcanic with a Water Energy. Here we are. It's another sign. That's about as much of a sign as you can probably get, actually. 
Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, jeez. All right. I don't think there's much more I can say about that, but whatever. Fried shoe. Just want those rainbow zorics, man. Yeah, those things are the chase cards of the set. I know, it definitely is, but... Uh, it's really making up to be like that if these are like the ratios we're going by. Yeah. But no, it's uh, it's crazy. This is like uh, actually probably gonna be one of the most busiest years or like holiday seasons for Pokemon in a while. Um, we got Shining Legends coming out on uh, Friday the sixth, and then we have a whole slew of products coming out on the twentieth. Um, the Ho -Oh Super Premium, the uh, what else? Ooh, Shining Legends. Yeah. The whole oh, super premium. The best of X and Y is yeah. something I'm so excited for. Best of X, Y is... Oh, man. I don't even... Um, Yo, those ends look crazy good. Everything in that set. I'm, those blacksmith for those expanded Volcanian decks. Exactly, yeah. Everything about that. That box is incredible, incredible value for money. As well as just for collecting in general. Exactly, yeah. It's No, it's incredible. I mean, I don't think I know a player that wouldn't, like, isn't looking to get one or two of those. Um, so, definitely a hot item. If you can get your hands on it, definitely get it. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited for that. And then, uh, what else is on the screen? I think mean, there's like, what, there's a, there's a Shining Legends lunchbox, I believe, as well. Oh yeah. Um, which actually has the Pikachu reprint. Really? So, Generally not a very exciting part or a very exciting product, but it does have that twenty dollar Pikachu in there. Twenty dollars. Uh, yeah, currently the the Pikachu in that cereal box is twenty bucks. So obviously um, it's gonna go down once the launch box comes out, but uh, but having that is kind of nice. Um, who knows? I believe the the tins got pushed back or pushed forward a little bit. Uh, in terms of release date. The Mysterious Power ones are you talking about? Yeah, the Necrozma, ho and Marsh Shadow ones. Other than that, I'm really not sure... Oh, oh Mewtwo GX Whoa. Rainbow! Our second one. That's so rare. Like, look how many more Raichus we have. Yeah. Secret rare than everything else. Seriously, jeez. This is like... This is some serious ratio things we need to look into. Yeah. Well, we're more than halfway through now, actually. We're powering through this fairly, fairly yeah. well, but uh, yeah, no, it's uh, it's incredible just how oh, shining volcano, nice. Yeah, it's very nice. So yeah, there's so many products are coming out after the 20th. On the 21st, actually, will be uh, the first day you can go to a Crimson Invasion pre-release. Um, so just as we're settling in to get ready for Shining Legends, instantly the uh, Crimson Invasion the Crimson Invasion set is going to be coming out, um, and then we have the entire set releasing on November sixth. So just after Halloween, uh, personally, I'm probably going to be dressing up as uh, as a Zoroark <laughs> for Halloween. Definitely excited for that. But, uh, but yeah, Crimson Invasion. Shining Legends. It's an incredible, incredible time for Pokemon. If you're a Pokemon player at the moment, you're probably enjoying yourself. But your wallet probably isn't. <laughs> <laughs> My wallet sure is. Definitely, it? yeah. I've been saving up for months now for this stuff, but even then, I don't know. I don't think I can stop myself if I. If I see four best of XY boxes, I think I might have to buy them. Yeah, those things are extremely hard to come by. Exactly. So. Yeah. Definitely a tough thing. Not a shiny closet. Wow. Yeah. So. Alright. Where are these rainbows at? 
Yeah. I'd say fort. Yeah. No rainbow though. No rainbows whatsoever. I gotta say the other thing. Um, so much packaging as well. It's the other thing. When we were opening up these uh, these elite trainer boxes, uh, we were just sitting there, just removing cart piece of cardboard after piece of cardboard for probably. All right, sorry guys, we uh, we ran out of battery yet again. Uh, let's get right back into it. We only have like a third left of all the 800 packs. We so hopefully we can get through all of them. Should be good to go, honestly. Super insane opening though, for real. I've, I've opened a lot of packs in my lifetime, but uh, I don't know. 800 packs of Shining Legends is pretty insane. Yeah, all in one sitting. Like I've never, I've never seen that many open, let's say, generations. So, yeah, definitely, definitely a privilege to open up something like this. I love this Skaggy. is such a funny Pokemon. Just walking around with, with a stick. Calling for family. And a Shining Arceus with a Metal Energy. Nice. Why don't they ever come out with regular colorless energy? Um... Mostly because of the fact that it's kind of pointless for the most part, because colorless energy is just any energy, right? So having like one colorless energy without like an effect such as like warp energy or rainbow energy or something kind of removes the entire allure of running that energy. So I mean, the short form, it, no one would play it. <laughs> right, there's another warp energy. But they can have like some Pokemon that has upside when they're specifically attached with a regular colorless energy. Yeah, uh, I mean, I'm not sure if we will have something like that. I know uh, we did have something similar with uh, with plasma energy, um, and the reason, and that was good because of the fact that we had colorless machine. Uh, to be able to search it out and then it would just uh, it would just attach it right away. Shining Arceus with the Shining Genesect. What a good pair. Jeez, yeah. Especially that Shining Genesect. Yeah. Such a cool card. Yeah. Here's a code for you guys. Let's see. What else we got in these packs? <sighs> yeah, notice that they reprinted Sophocles. Yes. Sophocles, a... I've been seeing that card run around in some rogue decks. Yeah, I... I really, the more I look at it, the better I think it could be in, in decks that maybe have a lot of, uh, a lot of pieces. Um, at least, like, it, ideally, nice, another fairy energy. Um, but ideally you want to get it out late game and sort of be able to reward yourself for discarding resources that you don't need anymore. So let's say you're playing like Gardevoir or Metagross and being able to discard some of your rare candies you don't need anymore. Or maybe you rare candied up to a Gardevoir and you don't need Curlia anymore. Um, something like that is nice, but uh, more than often you get stuck with it in the, the early game and it's not very good at that point. And that's probably the reason why people don't play it. I see, I see. But, yeah, definitely, it could see some play. Uh, I feel like we're gonna get more Rainbow Raichus than all the other Rainbow GXs combined. Most likely, yeah. We might even get more Rainbow Raichus than Zoroarks. <laughs> I hope not, but I'm not sure. We might just... Another Fuller, Mewtwo, and Entei. Shining Volcano. Slow. I don't know. 
I the more I look at this attack, I don't know. This little pump attack might. But it's triple water energy. I know, I know. It's it's hard to say, right? But like, I guess with like Aqua Patch, it's pretty good. There it goes. Um, but yeah, no, it like being able to snipe for fifty onto two Pokemon is a pretty powerful attack. So I don't know if if it was able to be figured out one way or another. Um, actually, to go back to when you were talking about Shining Pokemon from uh, the Neo sets. Um, being able to actually play more than one in a deck is very nice. Really? Back then you were only allowed to play one Shining whatever Pokemon in the deck. So you could play multiple Shining Pokemon. Uh, it's not like the Gold Stars where you were only able to play uh, one. But uh, unfortunately it is... It was basically, you know, if you were playing Shining Gyarados, you could only play one Shining Gyarados or something like that. So you couldn't rely on it, basically. Like, it was... Obviously, the cards weren't very good, but... Uh, but yeah, you couldn't, you couldn't rely on getting it out every game. So it is nice that we can play four of, uh, of these cards in, the, in this format now. Something I really appreciate. But yeah. Another Shining Genesect. We're getting more of them, actually. Yeah, maybe we have maybe. six. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, maybe we'll get eight by the end of this. Hopefully, you know, two play sets would be nice. But, uh, but yeah. Oh, man. These cards, like, I'm telling you, it's one thing to see them online, it's another to see them in person. These cards are so beautiful. These shiny Pokemon. They look absolutely incredible. It's, uh,. Kind of one of those things where like the camera just doesn't do it justice. And finally, another Entei Rainbow Rare. Oh man, that card just—I swear it's super elusive. Uh, actually, never mind. Forget to say that we have three of them. Um, where's these Zoroarks at? I really want these Zoroarks, but uh, yeah. That pack just kind of fell apart, just disintegrated. That's kind of weird. Nothing else. Alright, so the next one. Uh, we have a Pikachu Reverse Hollow. Well, that goes right with the Raichu GX. It does, yeah. It has the. It's looking at a rainbow. It's, uh, it's really nice. There's another code for you guys. Enjoy that one. Good luck to you guys for those codes. Wait, are there shiny Pokemon on the online game that you can potentially put from these packs as well? Uh, what do you mean? Like, like shiny new? Oh yes, yeah, yeah. Just like, just like in person, all the online packs are the exact same. So, uh, so having your yes, you can definitely take a chance at getting some of these Pokemon for your decks online or. Uh, I even know a couple guys that collect online, not exactly uh, my thing, but uh, if you're into that sort of thing, you can definitely do that. Um, and these are incredible collections. Not to mention, if you accidentally pack a uh, Zoroark GX, you're in for a very good time. Uh, where you can probably just get about anything you want. Uh, but probably like trade for like a layer. Yeah, most likely is what... It's gonna be another grass energy and a shining Arceus. That's the big one. Another secret rare by Tree Chinex. Ugh, where's these Zoroarks, man? I'm looking for them. I can't find them. We're only one out of like 600 packs. Yep. Super, super rare. So, I don't know. Hopefully, another Entei texture, but uh, yeah, hopefully, we can get at least another one. And then another one. And then one more after that. And then another one after that. So can just baby steps. Baby steps. Yeah, baby steps. Exactly. But yeah, let, let's. Here's another quick for you guys. But uh, yeah, let's say that um, I'm DJ Khaled and uh, I'm trying to buy Zor GX's uh, mama a house <laughs> and a sister a house. 
but uh, he's just not letting me right now. So they're shining new. Let's see what else? Palkia. Nothing in that pack. The hollows are really nice though. I really like the fact that they did that. Oh, man, these packs are just disintegrating for the most part. It's like I'm in Pokemon Heaven right now. Exactly. Another Shining Jirok. Yeah, there isn't much more I really, I really could ask from this set. I, I, uh, I haven't, I've been super excited just to open this. I, I, I knew we've been opening, we were going to open this for a couple weeks now, and, um, every day I come into work, I'm just like, oh, come on, please, please, where's, where's Shining Legends? I want to open it. Um, so finally it's here. We're gonna have the singles, sealed product. Super excited. Oh, yeah. All of it will be online at forlinggames.ca. There you go. Plug it. Plug it all. Single and sealed product and all. And all. That's that's the big one. Is the and all. Uh, that one will that'll also be online at 401games.ca. <laughs> Alright, Shining Rake Plaza. There you are. Yeah, that's what you're looking for right there. And a code for you guys. Uh, nothing in that pack. Alright, I need another pack of perfect bits. Oh, here you go. Thank you. Dude, so many cards in this set. In terms of ultras. But this is a relatively small set with like what? Only like 80 cards in it? I believe total, yeah. I think it's like 83? 80 something. I think cards. it's a secret rare view to that had the last number. Uh, 78. Yeah, 78 cards in this entire set. Which is a relatively small set. Yeah. Because like Burning Shadows, like. 140 or so. Plus all the secret rares. Yeah. yeah. Plus all the secret rares. And look, like, let's be real, Sun and Moon was gigantic in comparison to Sun and Moon base. <sighs> Crimson Invasion actually is going to have around. Oh, another secret rare Mewtwo! Oh, jeez. Oh, and another code. Sick. Alright. Secret rare Mewtwo. It's so cool. It is. Probably test two Mewtwo. I I freaked out when I saw it. I when it first got revealed, I I couldn't believe that they even printed the card. Because um, there's a lot of people, and like e even sometimes, like I'll think about it that same. Um, that basically that po uh, Pokemon is kind of running out of ideas, and that they're they're just printing the same stuff over and over and over again. But I don't know. Every time it, every time people start to say that, then we get something like this, where we get some sweet Pokemon going on. Test tube Mewtwo, and I mean, like, what? You know, how do you compete with this card? It's like the the iconic card back from Gen One. Exactly. There, there isn't much more you can do. It, to me, it's probably oh, evil tell you the To me, it's the best Mewtwo ever printed. Obviously not competitive wise, but um, but in just terms of artwork, I don't think there's a card that would beat it, or at least it would be very difficult. Oh, but yeah, we're down to what now? Seventy-five packs or so. Yeah, we're almost done the home stretch. All right. Oh, shining ours, yes. There we are. What I noticed for a lot of these. Shining Pokemon, they tend to like, I guess, club together with a card right in front of it. To the point where I almost glossed over that. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. I think that's how I glossed through like the first several in the yeah. beginning. Yeah, it's weird, yeah. I have not noticed that yet, but fair enough. And the thing I have noticed is that the packs are falling apart. Like they melt like butter? Yeah, when you pull them apart, they just disintegrate. Like it's. 
they just rip into pieces and they like the plastic flakes apart and all kinds of other stuff. So, uh, yeah, unfortunate for that, but. Lots and lots of bulk. Dark energy. Sweet. Yeah. I love these energies, man. It makes, like I said, it makes collecting so much easier. Flygon's back. Flygon was gone for a while, but he's back. Yeah. Thanks. Oh, oh. Another Mewtwo GX. Yeah, there seems to be a lot of Mewtwo's. Yeah. I mean, we're, we're on par with, uh, with Breakthrough, are we not? Four, four Mewtwo's in a set? Yeah. Seems just par for the course, it seems. Yeah, but like that's like Mewtwo Y and Mewtwo X. Yeah. And Mega Mewtwo Y and Mega Mewtwo X. Uh, well, no, it's the the Megas are the X and the Y, right? Oh, yeah. And then you have just like regular Mewtwo. But yeah, you have two different Mewtwo's, Mewtwo EXs, and the two Megas as well. Actually, I think we had more. I think there was like, what, eight in that set? Really? Or no, six. Yeah. Sorry. Correct us if we're wrong, guys, in the comments. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure it was six, though, because you had the you had the regular EX the for both the Shattershot and the, uh, and the the Psy Wave or whatever it was called. Uh, and then you had the, the Cigarette for those two. And then you had the Megas. And then you had the Mega Force. So yeah, actually, yeah, I'm right. No, it's eight. Damn. Okay. Oh, wow. So this set ain't got nothing on Breakthrough. Fair, fair, fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scraggy. Scraggy's been slurring on the wall. Ooh, nice. Whoa. Nice pack nice. right there. Nice pack. Whoa. All right. What did you? Oh, Secret yes. Rare Jarak. Oh, yes. These are like combo packs right there. Exactly. With a code. Oh, man. That Zorak is so nice. Oh, yeah. I really like how it's like red near the head. Of the Zora, it looks like he's very like mad and he's like flush red. Yeah. And he's gonna get you. He is gonna get you. There is, if you're playing the TCG, there is very few ways to avoid this Zora. It's gonna get you one way or another. It's a very, very good card. Yeah, it's gonna get my wallet. That's <laughs> yeah, yeah, it definitely will. Um, and actually, if you guys are looking for some combo cards to go with, uh, with Zoroark. Um, one of my favorites currently is uh, is Mallow. Um, letting you search your deck for two cards and then you put them on the top of your deck. But obviously, uh, Zor Zoroark's ability lets you draw two cards by discarding one from your hand. So given you have one card in your hand, you can search your deck for two cards. So it's like basically an insane tutor. Exactly. There you go. There's another Pokemon for you. She's so happy. I know. The mill tank is what gets me. To me, like if I just got a fuller of this mill tank, I'd be happy. But uh, definitely the highlight of of the art in my opinion. I'm surprised that there's not a ho ho in the set itself. Yeah. Despite being like. The flagship Pokemon for this set, Shine Arceus. Yeah, it's uh, it's weird, but I mean that's that's what happens when you put everything in. Oh, another secret rare Oh, Mark. nice. Oh, we're on par now. Here we go. We're cooking. We're cooking the fire. How many more? We got like what? Fifty more packs? A little bit more than fifty? Yeah. I maybe think. maybe all the cards are just clumped together. Yeah, perhaps it uh, it seems that we have how really good odds of getting that playset. Yeah, sure. I'm gonna get the sleeve for that little closet. There we go. Got a pack. Look at that. It just falls apart. It's really just that. Shiny? Jirachi. Raichu GX. Here's a code for you guys. I just noticed something actually. Look at Raichu's tail. It's literally like the lightning symbol. 
But like, damn. Obviously, like Raichu's tail was the lightning symbol, but it's like very much accentuated in the card, right? Like, look, look at that. That oh, is yeah. extremely accentuated. You know what I really want? I want like the ability to tell the difference of male and female from the the games uh -huh. brought over onto the cards, so that you could have like uh -huh. subtleties between like Raichu female and Raichu male. That'd be like really cool. It would be, but I think they've done it once or twice. But for the most part, it's just the thing is that unless you print two versions of the same card, or you print two cards that. You know, or at least the same name. Uh, it's gonna be kind of difficult to do, right? So like, um, I believe they did something in uh, in Breakthrough actually as well uh, with the Zoroa, where they had a male and a female. The female with like a bow on its head or whatever. Um, but other than that, I it's you are right. It's kind of a fairly uncommon thing to do. Yeah. I have seen like multiple versions of like the same Pokemon in the the base basic form. But if they could, at least for the basic forms, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah. Gives people some variety in their deck choices. Exactly. There we go. Another water energy. Very nice. Another giant water shuriken. Exactly. Exactly. Another shiny quasa. That's what Yeah. That's what matters right there. That card looks incredible. Along with that Zoro art. Oh yeah. Just side by side. Nothing. I've been hitting a dry streak so far. Nothing. Nothing for me. Let's keep this rolling. It's a shining Mew, finally. Put something. Let's see, anything else? All right, time to get the sleeve for the shiny new. I love perfect picks, except for the fact that they they cause so much sliding. Oh yeah, or, especially when they're fresh. Exactly. Yeah. No, fresh from the pack, they slide all over the place. But other than that, it's really good that they protect it. They protect the cards. And also, I wouldn't be able to play Pokemon without it, to be honest. I uh, I enjoy double sleeping too much. Same thing. Especially with all these shining Pokemon and secret rares in your deck. Exactly, yeah. Mm -hmm. Having all those high value cards definitely just double sleep. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. Wow. We're basically 30 packs from finishing. We're almost done. Actually, no, I lied. It's more like 50. Is it? Yep. Oh, I thought these were stacks of 10. They're stacks of 20s. Ah, never mind. Alright, so we have a lot more than 30 to go, but nothing there as well. What are we looking for right now? Zora. Zora. Gotta get that place out done. Shining Jirachi, very nice card. Shining Genesis, all right. There we are, getting getting those numbers back. Three for that. All right. Another Raichu, another pack. I feel like a Raichu comes in like every third or fourth pack. It, it really does feel like that, but it, it, I mean, it looks like we have more Mewtwo's than we have Raichu's. I'm, I'm really not sure, but uh... Ah, oh, nice, another Zoro GX. Yeah, this card currently, I believe, is sitting around $30 uh, for coffee. Basically, until the box set comes out. Exactly, yeah. It'll definitely drop, so uh, if you're going to be one of the early adopters of this set, um, and buying Shining Legends when it comes out, or perhaps you're one of the lucky few that, uh, that bought from the Pokemon Center and uh, have it early, um, perhaps offloading it is probably the, the way to go. Just due to the 
the tremendous value of the card at the moment. Is there an alternate part Lily in this set? Uh, I thought there was going to be in this set, but it seems like it's going to be in the next set. Because, oh, right. I did see one in the Japanese spoiler. Yeah, exactly. So, it, 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 as far as I'm aware, I think it's going to be in Crimson Invasion. Um, but it's kind of really tough to say. So, uh, we'll see. We'll see when it happens. But obviously, you know, double Mewtwo. Packs. With the way that uh, Pokemon treats us here in here in North America, not exactly as nice as the Japanese players get it. So. Oh, cool. uh, well, hey, that's still a pretty nice card. I saw the silver edge and I thought it was a secret rare. I got baited. <laughs> that does happen very often, actually. Uh, there's a... I don't know why, but it seems like almost every card that has sort of like a silver border is kind of like that. Joy Coral, guys. Oh no! Oh, something fell. It's all the right shoes. Oh, well, just the right shoes. Just the right shoes. Doesn't matter. Don't That's okay. The floor is like padded with all these shining legends pack wrappers on the floor. Yeah, there is so many. It's not even funny. I'd say we're trying to be like fairly clean about it as well. It's. Uh... But how clean can we get opening up 800 packs? That's very much true. Yeah, I think we mean what double the um, the the space got taken up by garbage that the packaging actually came in. Something okay. like that. Okay, it's a secret rare right you. Yeah. Man, it's all these secret rares, huh? Nothing more. No more uh Zora, it's just right huh? Yeah. Where's the um Oh, this one is already open. Yeah. From the bottom here. Alright, that's weird. I think it's just like a cutting issue. Yeah. Everything's in there, so. Not that much. Alright, we're down to the last 20 ish packs. Oh, man. Oh, Shiny Mercius. Alright, well, I'm not done yet. Not done yet. Come on, Zoroark. I believe in you. Just asking for one. Just one. Oh, shiny Volcanium. There you are. That's good enough. It's not bad, not bad. Let's see. Uh, and say GX. I feel something in this pack. I, I believe. Okay, what? <laughs> The reverse grass energy? Well, yeah, I mean, you get thought, you get that at least. It's not that bad, but nothing great. At least we're not playing as many Entes anymore. Yeah, that's fair. Only a couple for like 10 packs instead of every pack. <laughs> every pack. I still don't understand why they print GXs like this. I, it really, oh, Shiny Rayquaza, nice on it. Uh, but, it kind of puzzles me why they would even bother making cards that just aren't very good. Because they just end up becoming like bargain bin kind of stuff that, you know, like, unless you're like a true fan of that one Pokemon, it's just kind of like a waste of time. Not nice. Another Zora chip, so. Nice. Obviously, not every single card needs to be an incredibly playable card or whatever, but at least. Um, being able to, you know, realistically use it instead of just being there solely for something like it's GX attack, which isn't even... Oh, nice. Shiny Mew. Uh, but yeah. Alright, we're down to our last five packs. Oh, hope we get something in here. Alright. Well, I think we should split it up. Two versus two. Yeah. Alright. And then see what we'll roll it. Let's go. We got Totodile. Oh, there's a code. 
An Arbok. Oh, and a Latios. What is this? Energy. Uh, one, two. Oh, you're gonna do it that way? Yeah, I'm gonna do that trick. Quillfish, Shroomish, Gullet, Purloin, Plusle, Floatzel, Arbok, Pokemon Breeder, Scraggy, ah, just the Raikou. Alright, let's hope oh, the last two packs do better. Alright, let's see. Oh, and another flaky pack. Right. Oh, I see a Silver Edge. Oh, I think I saw one as well. It's code. There's one for you guys. Two, three, drop energy. Just going over pulls today, um, we have 27 Entei GXs, regular art. Um, definitely one of the weaker cards from the set, unfortunately. We got quite a few. Um, next, Raichu GX, 25 of those. Um, definitely a decent card, nothing too bad, but um, yeah, quite a few of those. Uh, into the next one, Mewtwo GX, a swapping 29 of these. An absolutely crazy amount for that card. Uh, the art's cool, but uh, nothing too special. Uh, unfortunately, only 17 Zorark GXs. Definitely the chase card of the set, the Tapu Lele, if you will. Um, but only 17 of those. Um, Entei Fuller, you're going to be getting 14 of those. Uh, decent card, but nothing too, too special. Like I said, Mewtwo 5. Very surprising. Very, very surprising that there's only 5 of these. I suspect that these were short printed. Um, 3 Entei Rainbow Rares. Uh, definitely something that I was surprised about because I thought it was going to be more rare than that. Uh, surprising eight Raichu GX rainbows. Seriously, crazy amount. I don't even know what's up with that. Uh, but only three Zorog GX rainbows. Unfortunately, we couldn't hit that playset mark, unfortunately. Uh, really rough for me. Two Mewtwo rainbows, which is really surprising considering we got way more of the secret rares. But uh, just how it goes sometimes. Yeah, like I said, five Mewtwo Secret Rares of the Test Tube version. Super cool. Uh, Eleven of the Pokemon Breeders. One of the, probably my favorite art from the set. Um, onto the Shining Pokemon. Seven of the Shining Genesect. Probably one of the better cards in the set. Uh, and then we have here a whopping 14 Shining Volcanians. Just a seriously crazy amount. I don't even understand. Uh, same with the Mew, actually. 14 of those. Really nice card. Um, super beautiful. You can see how the color changes in each of them uh, based on the light. Jirachi, 9 of those. Unfortunately, the the foiling doesn't shine the same, but similar anyways. Uh, Rayquaza, you got 13 of those. Some of them look like they're red as well. Pretty crazy. Uh, and then onto our Arceus, which is 17 shining Arceus. Um, I want to say that the shining Pokemon... The odds seem to be probably 1 to 2 in every box. I would say like 1.5 um, every box. It seems like the odds are a lot higher than uh, initially reported on, but um, but they're still quite good and um, definitely, the, definitely the mainstay of the set. Anyways, guys, this has been Matthew from 401 Games. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, and uh, feel free to leave a comment. Bye.